cable service. The Thank dogs. you. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. See. <laughs> everybody and welcome to Glen Reviews. In this episode of Glen Reviews we are looking at the cheesy bacon fries from McDonald's. Now this episode of Glen Reviews is sponsored by anonymous benefactor Ryan. Thanks Ryan. Hi. So <clears throat> it's been a while since we've hung out. I feel I feel like there's a, a bit of a disconnect but I'm working on it. <clears throat> so uh, first initial impressions, or but actually first, maybe a little bit of background. So McDonald's has this history of always trying new and inventive things. Take for example the McPizza, or the other things. It's They're always looking for something new. Now, not in the same way that Taco Bell is always trying new things like putting a cheesy gordita crunch inside a cheesy gordita crunch, or putting nacho on nacho fries. It's, it's crazy. It's It's actually... I don't know what's going on there. They got to be on. I don't know. They're doing something crazy. But McDonald's has dabbled in the different and the unique. And so, initial impressions, looking here at the box, totally different branding, totally different box, which is nice. They didn't just stick it in like a Big Mac box, which is something that could be expected. Now, uh, they also gave us napkins. You know how I feel about napkins. <laughs> then we also got silverware which is a good inclusion and you uh, acting as the stand for the phone right now is the diet coke on lock because i never drink anything else all right so let's open this up and get a nice little uh, a little shot of that oh no oh dear well that's certainly something <laughs> now in terms of initial impressions and presentation you know, they, they could have worked a little bit on, you know, making it across the entire selection of fries. But, but you know, can you blame them? It's the middle of rush hour, this and that. Who knows what else is going on back there. I'm not saying I'm giving it a pass, but I'm not too concerned. All right. All right. Of course, we have the very sturdy, <clears throat> very branded McDonald's cutlery. So let's go ahead and get in here and get a nice little cross section. So of course we want some bacon in there. Got some of the nacho cheese. Now I'm not sure about this nacho cheese because McDonald's isn't necessarily a uh, not the first person I'd go to for you know like Hispanic themed meals you know and nacho cheese kind of falls in that realm I think. Okay we gotta figure this out. Classic nacho or classic fries. Nothing different about those. Just the same McDonald's fries everybody knows and loves, and which they are the best. Don't at me. All right, so we got a little bit of bacon, got a little nacho cheese on there. This is the McDonald's nacho nacho cheese bacon <laughs> cheese fries going in. Oh, oh. Hmm. Okay. Got some thoughts, got some thoughts. Let's go in for another bite. Whoa. That is powerful. Okay. Second bite was better. A little more acclimated. Okay. Okay. So, they're doing something very interesting here. They are, these fries are very bacon forward. Like, wow. I mean, you can tell there's bacon on this, not just by sight, but wow, it comes out in the taste. It's like being punched in the mouth. Um, let's see. Mm. That is real bacon. Um, as far as I can tell, we're not dealing with any bacon bits, so points for going that extra mile. Mm. Now, the nacho cheese, I'm not sure about. The nacho cheese has a bit of an odd texture that I'm not sure necessarily works with bacon bits, or at least in this particular situation. It works with, say, for example, chili, 
because they have a very similar consistency, a very similar viscosity that complements the crunch and crispiness of the fries. Now in this particular case, it's a bit too gooey, a bit too flexy for my taste. So let's try one more bite and we'll, we'll, go, we'll go into final thoughts. Okay, so all in all, everything tastes fine, but texture is where they're really missing the kind of missing the point. The nacho, nacho cheese tastes fine. I'm sure it's just like like the Rico one. You know, I got the little chili on the outside. I'll throw a picture of it like over here somewhere. Um, but taste wise, like I said, punches you in the mouth. It's right there. It comes in your house yells out, knows, and lets you know that you're that it's there. You're not missing out on any of the pieces, you understand? The potato is very forward, very nice. Bacon is right there. Nacho cheese wraps it all up in a tight little flavor bow. But the texture, it's just, leaves something to be desired. Now, as a little bonus, bonus, bonus. Mm. yeah, and then the napkins. So, the McDonald's bacon nacho cheese fries get a very solid, hard earned eight out of 10 bangins and a happy Cory in the house. Now, like I said, as a little bonus, bonus and they got the, like, they got the cutlery, they got the napkins, they got the diet coke, everything is on lock, McDonald's is on the ball, 8 out of 10 bangings. well done. Now, I said it three times already, but as a little extra bonus, bonus, I've never reviewed the classic McDonald's McDouble. And so, I've got a McDouble up here for us, saddled up and ready to go. You know it, and you know it well, the McDonald's McDouble. So let's unwrap this here. They always put them upside down, which kind of confuses me, but at the same time, it also lands kind of on the little McDonald's logo. So, good for them. It's an, a creative and interesting way of packaging things. Um, so here we are. It's a little sad, a little sloppy. Kind of looks like, the, you know, teetering a little bit. Of course, we have to do a little bit of surgery here, because if you know Glenn Reviews, you know that I freaking hate pickles. All right, now we can reapply the bun. Now, <clears throat> like I said, the McDouble, everybody's had one. Everybody in Africa's had one, Uganda. They've all had, they've all had a McDouble at some point. Okay, now the McDonald's, classic McDouble, no pickles, going in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now let's talk. Let's talk flavor profile. The McDouble is kind of a different cat slinking down the street. It's actually a little bit sweeter than you probably would have imagined a burger but with the ketchup there's a lot of sugar in the ketchup the onions have a lot of sweetness a lot of pop it's a very sweet burger but it's complemented nicely and contrasted nicely with the salt and pepper and seasoning of the meat inside now of course I don't do pickles but the pickles just make it sour and ruin the whole experience for me so what up? Now, if we look, uh, get a little cross section here and look internally, see the onions are kind of strewn about, just kind of took the little cup, went, you know. However, the buns are toasted nicely. Everything was within the confines of the bun, save for the cheese, but that's to be expected. And so, while it might not be the prettiest burger that you can buy at McDonald's, 
It is made well, and they know their craft. So let's go in here for one more bite and go for final thoughts. We definitely pick up on different things. This time, I taste more bun. The bun is fluffy, the bun is light, the bun, instead of the bacon, for example, punching you, the bun is inviting you in and it says, come on, man, that's right. Bring it in, bun, gives you a hug. Oh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> now McDonald's. You guys know what you do, and you do it well. And the Mc McDouble is a perfect example. The perfect double cheeseburger. It's made fast. It's made reliably. And there's a whole range of customization. And when you really get down to it, the McDouble... So, the McDonald's McDouble gets eight and a half <laughs> bangins out of ten bangins. Well done, McDonald's, and that's a ha happy Cory in the house. <clears throat> and of course, the napkins points counts for them too. And so I believe that with a combined score, 13 and a half points, McDonald's has really knocked it out of the park. All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Glen Reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, drop a little something down there in the comments for me to read. I'm always checking, I'm always looking, and uh, don't be afraid to recommend Glen Reviews to your family or anything like that or your friends. It helps out a lot. Once again, thank you so much for watching Glen Reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next video.